Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to be looking at the 2019 Ram 1500 uh, Laramie option. I just previously went over the Tradesman and the Bighorn. Uh, Ram just released their pricing for the models and the packages. So I'm going to kind of go over um, how much it would cost to spec out a vehicle. Um, I had a video series back a couple months ago, maybe a month or two ago, um, kind of outlining outlining uh, what I was looking for within each model. So I'm gonna try to keep the ones I'm building today as consistent with the ones I did in the, in the other video series. Um, so the Laramie starts at $40,690, uh, net price of $42,335. Uh, that is a four x two. I want the four x four with the crew cab six four box which is gonna bring my price up to about uh, $48,000 net price. Um, and it, you will notice no matter what you do, if you do four by four for any of these models, you will lower your um, towing capability, I believe. Yeah, you do. So we're gonna build that one out. Alrighty, that was the big horn, I believe. See if this will load. It's a little finicky sometimes because it's new. Okay, so with the Laramie, uh, you do get the 5.7 Hemi standard. There is no option for the V6. You also do get the LED lighting standard as well. Uh, that's an option on the Big Horn. So we're going to go with the 5.7 Hemi, which is $1,195. Um, if you do want the Hemi with the eTorque system, it's going to be $1,995, and uh, that says late availability, so that will not um, be available when the dealers get their first allotment um, in early April. Uh, Anti-spin uh, rear diff is, three, is $435, and the e-locker rear axle is $495. I do want that. And because I am getting that, I have to switch to the 392 rear axle, which adds $95, I believe. So my total pr price increase for the e-locker is $590, as you can see in the bottom right there. So I'll accept those changes. Scroll down. Four-corner air suspension is not standard on the Laramie. However, it is a $1,795 option as well as a 33-gallon fuel tank for $425. Uh, the engine block heater from Chrysler has always been $95, so no change there. Trailer tow group uh, includes your tow mirrors, which are chrome, because the Laramie. So here's your uh, equipment groups. Level one equipment group is $1,600, and the level two is $4,400. So let's take a look and see um, if I can see the differences kind of right off the bat. So this one you get blind spot monitoring, remote tailgate, 60-40 split reclining seat, uh, rain sensitive windshield wipers, um, automatic high beams. So this is pretty much your, your safety package, I would say. And let's see the details on this level too. So this is where you get the 19 speaker premium audio group. You also get the blind, so you also get the safety package with level two. Uh, heated second row seats. There's that remote tailgate again. Wireless charging pad. You also get the Uconnect 8.4 with nav. So we're gonna add that. And we're gonna accept the changes for $4,400. There we go. Protection group is your basic skid plates for $250. Sport appearance package is significantly more expensive um, in the Laramie than it is the Bighorn. The Bighorn, I believe, was $995. Um, this time around, it's $1,995. And the black appearance package is $2,995. I believe that has to do with the 20 or 22-inch rims for that one. Um, this is your advanced safety group, which is your, um, your adaptive cruise control. And I'm going to opt to not get that because I don't think that was available last time. Exterior. 
maximum steel metallic. You do have option for two-tone paint with the Laramie. Yeah, 22 inch. And that's where that extra money comes from in the black sport appearance or black appearance package. So you take $1,295 and minus it from, what was it? 2000, 2000 something, let's see. Yeah, so you're, you're pretty much at the same price as the sport appearance package. You just get those um, sportier wheels for two grand more. Alrighty. Now with the Laramie, you do have the option for the power running boards for one or for nine hundred and ninety-five dollars. Uh, those deploy when you open and close the door. Wheel-to-wheel -wheel step side is the same as other models, six ninety-five. The black tubulars is five ninety-five. Tonneau cover is five ninety-five. Rear wheelhouse liners is one ninety-five. That's been the same. Not no change there. Now, I believe this is kind of where it's a little funky. Um, the equipment equipment group two should have given me the um, 40 council 40 split. However, it didn't. So we will select it here for a $695 upcharge. I may be wrong. Uconnect 4C nav. Oh, that's pretty interesting. The Uconnect 12.0, so the 12 inch touchscreen is only a thousand dollar upcharge. I thought it would be more expensive than that. That's pretty cool though. Nine hundred and ninety-five dollars. Dual pane panoramic sunroof is same as the other Bighorn for one thousand two hundred and ninety-five dollars. Front and rear rubber floor mats one thirty-five. So now we can view the summary. This Laramie is fifty-four thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars. Um, so it's a little like three grand more than the Bighorn. Um, however, you do get that $4,400 um, Laramie, Laramie equipment package too. So we can take a look real, oops, sorry about that. We'll take a look real quick, scroll up, we'll take a look at the interior, push button start. There's your 40 council 40 seats, your um, five inch, driver information cluster right here. Right here on the steering wheel is where that adaptive cruise control would be if you had that option. Now I think it's only available in the Laramie and up. So I guess we will find out when I build more of these trucks. But here's the Laramie. Be sure to stay tuned for um, other builds. Thanks for watching and have a great day.